Okay, so hey guys, so today's video is going to be a products I have used up video. I have a bag from Ulta that I filled with products that I have used up currently or like stuff I used up recently and stuff that I'm still using. So anyway, I'm going to share with you what I got. We have a lot to get through, so let's just jump right in. The first things that I'm going to share with you are products that I am still using right now, but I wanted to share with them with you first. So the first thing is the Stila One Step Corrector. You guys know how much I love this. I basically only have like one to two uses left, but I love this stuff so freaking much. You have no idea. I use this like crazy and I don't think I've ever used up a primer faster in my entire life because I just love it. So um, this is how much I have left of it and yeah, I love it. So I was really hoping to use this up by this um, by the end of the week but I wanted to shoot this video before I could turn in my Lush Pots because you guys know I always like filming these videos before I turn in my Lush Pots so I can get my free face mask. So I like to shoot them before I go to Lush and I'm pretty sure I have five pots here anyway. So then the next thing is the Ea Roma Water Toner Water. You guys know how much I love this. This is basically in like all of my products I've used up videos and um, I basically have like a few more uses left and then this is going to be done too. My favorite toner. I love that. Then the next thing is the Josie Marin Pure Argan Oil. You guys know I love this too. I go through this like crazy. This is the second bottle I have. I believe there's another one in here already that I've used up entirely, but there's only like a little bit left, and then I'm going to be done with that as well. I use this every night. I love it. Then the next thing is the Sephora Waterproof Makeup Remover. As you can see, I'm basically almost done with the full-size one, and I think I purchased this around March or... February, I love this makeup remover. It's amazing. I can't believe I even wasted my money on the Ulta one because this is only a few more dollars and this one is so much better. I love it. It's just an amazing um, makeup eye makeup remover. So I need to get another bottle of this full size again because I love this stuff and I'm basically almost done with that. And the next thing is the Sephora Solid Blush Blush Brush Cleaner. Um, I'm almost done with this as well. I mean, I still have um, quite a few uses out of it, but this is always out of stock when I want to go get it, but hopefully I'll be able to grab it this time because I need to make a trip to Sephora tomorrow to get this, the Makeup Remover, and then I need the Ego Roma Water and the Josie Marin Argan Oil and then a new face mask. So I need to go pick up those things probably tomorrow or at some point. I'm not really sure when I'm able to make it to the mall. I just haven't even gotten there recently. But I love this um, Sephora Solid Brush Cleaner because it's just as good as the Beauty Blender Cleanser and it's a little bit less money. So I'd much rather get this rather than the Beauty Blender Cleanser anymore. Then the next thing is the Happy Happy Joy Joy Hair Conditioner. I think I have a full size of this in this bag. So this is the second one I've used up, which is crazy. I'm, I've never used a conditioner up faster I love this conditioner. It smells so good and it just makes your hair so smooth and I just love the milky consistency so it makes your hair really silky as well. So I love this too. And this is my second bottle so I prob this is probably the only conditioner I'm going to be purchasing from Lush from now on because obviously you guys know I already repurchased it. Then the next thing is the Exuviance Gentle C Cleansing Cream. I love this stuff. I don't know why this doesn't get more hype on YouTube because this is one of the best makeup removers for sensitive skin. I have actually just been strictly using this to remove my makeup and it has made such a difference with breakouts and everything like that. I just think that this is a much better way to take off my makeup because I've seen from Nicole Guerrero that you're actually not supposed to be using makeup wipes that often or pretty much... I mean, you can use them, but you're not supposed to use them, like, every day because they have, like, I mean, I I have been seeing a lot of beauty bloggers switching over to using cleansing oils rather than makeup wipes. I still use makeup wipes when I want to, like, if I'm too lazy to use this because this is a pain in the ass to use sometimes. Sometimes I go in with this for my face makeup, then this for my eye makeup remover, and then... 
a makeup wipe for my lips, but now I've just been using a makeup wipe for my lips and my eyes because they say it's better to use like a cleansing oil or some type of gentle makeup remover on your face because it prevents breakouts. Um, so I've been doing that recently and it's been making a huge difference. And also I've been using the Lush Grease Lightning Blemish like um, eraser thing, which is amazing. So I think using that and this has really been helping my skin a lot. So this stuff is awesome and it just smells so good and really removes your makeup really nicely. It's not like it's the best at removing it, but I just find that it, I mean it takes it off. It just takes a little bit of work, but this is awesome. Honestly, if you have sensitive skin, you need this and you need to put in the extra work for it because it's amazing. Um, then the next thing is the Lush Let the Cut. Let the good, let the could, let the good times roll face and body cleanser. This stuff smells amazing and I'm basically almost done with it. I only have like a couple more uses left, but I usually buy one Lush cleanser to use for a couple months and then I go buy another one, but they're so cheap that it doesn't really make a difference. It's like $20, so it's worth it for the how much I love these cleansers. This is what it looks like. It's a... um. Maze and polenta cleanser, so it's basically like almost putting potatoes on your face. And it also has sweet and salty popcorn scent. It smells so good. I really like this, but I think I still like the Angels on Bare Skin a little bit more. But this is still really, really good. It did get the job done. So almost done with that. And then I did repurchase a new face cleanser that I'm going to be trying out from Lush as well. That I'm going to be hauling very soon. And then the last thing, I am so excited about this. But I wanted to update you guys on this and also like I always tell you guys when I hit pan on something recently in these videos and then I'll update you guys in like a full products I've used up video. I mean products I want to use up in 2016 like update video because I already did a halfway through the year update and I like mentioning stuff that I'm working on in my products I've used up videos. But I, you guys know what this is. This is the Marc Jacobs Instant Mark Dreamer Filter. This is my favorite um, bronzer ever, and I finally hit pan on the bronzer side. So you can see that I hit pan on it. I am so excited about it. I've made a pretty huge dent. It might not look like much, but honestly, it's a lot because a lot of the bronzer is also really sunken in here. I love this bronzer. It's amazing. It is so easily blendable and it creates the most natural bronze you've ever seen in your life. If you're the type of girl who doesn't like an orangey bronze, I am wearing the Too Faced Sweethearts bronzer today because that's my other favorite one, but I always switch off between that or this one and the Laguna bronzer, but this is by far my favorite because it just like, it's so easy to use and it's so easy for work days. You can just throw it on and it blends itself. It's just so gorgeous. And I think I got this last year, and I am so proud of myself that I hit pan on it. I figured I was going to because it looked like it had a pretty substantial dent in it. But honestly, this is expensive, but it's worth every single penny. Because first of all, look how much product you're getting. And second of all, I'm probably going to use up the bronzer, honestly, because I freaking love it. So that would be like a huge accomplishment for me. So yeah, love this, and I will update you guys more in another video. So let's jump into the actual products I have used up because I'm sure that's what you guys are actually here for. Okay, so the first things, I think I probably lost another one of them behind my drawer because I could have sworn I like felt something else fall back here, but I think I used up four of these, but I think it's in the back of my drawer. But this is basically in every single one of these videos and that's the Neutrogena stuff, Neutrogena I'm going to say Neutrogena Sephora Makeup Remover. It's so a Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. I have three packs here, but I use these up all the time. And I did have four originally, but I think I lost a couple of them. Um, but these are my favorite makeup wipes. I think I'm going to try out the Aveeno ones because I, because I saw Young Wild and Polish say that she really loves the, those makeup wipes. So I think I want to try those out at some point. Um, but these are awesome. I love them. I always go back to the original ones. I really do like the hydrating ones too. I might get those at some point as well. 
um, because the first time I tried them, I didn't like them as much because of the scent, and now I, like, really love them. But, um, I would try to use these less because, you know, of what Nicole Guerrero said and, and what other beauty gurus have said. You're not supposed to use them every single day, but I still use them for my eyes and for my lips, so I will continue to repurchase them. But I probably won't go through them as fast now. And I do use them, you know, for hands, like when I swatch makeup and stuff like lipsticks and eye makeup. And when I um, also like, what else? <laughs> I guess that's it. Um, but yeah, I still use them on a daily basis. So just not sometimes for removing my makeup. But yeah, I do use them for mostly everything else. But I love those. Let's stop talking about makeup wipes. Um, then I have a bunch of Lush products. The first thing is the Angels on Bare Skin Face and Body Cleanser. You guys know that I love this. I use this up all the time. Just checking my lips. They actually look fine. Um, the thing about this lipstick is that um, I feel like it looks bad and it feels like it's peeling. But then when you actually look at it, it looks fine. I mean, it was flaking before and now it's fine. So I don't, I don't understand why it's like that, but whatever. So this is the Angels on Bare Skin Face and Body Cleanser. Use up the entire thing like I usually do. This is my favorite cleanser from Lush, and I repurchase that constantly. The next thing is the Eoroma Water Toner Water Toner Water Toner Water in the full size. Um, I did just show you the mini size, and I was purchasing that before this, but then I finally decided to purchase the full size because hello. It's a lot more product. It takes a lot longer to get through the entire thing, but I did actually get through the entire thing, and I love this. It's amazing. It's my favorite toner ever. It smells amazing, too. It's basically lavender water, which I really, really love, and it just smells so freaking good. So, yeah, absolutely love this, and I probably will go and repurchase the full-size one because I definitely need that. Then the next thing, I actually did just use this up, like, actually I have two of these, okay. I have two of the Lush Vanishing Cream Facial Moisturizers. You guys know this is my favorite moisturizer of all time. I did take a lot longer to go through this one than this one. This one I went through super hella fast, but this is the first one. Obviously, I already cleaned it out and everything. Absolutely love that. Then the second one... I just threw in here right now, but basically I just used it up this morning. Like, this is all I have left. Um, but this one definitely took me a lot longer to get through because I tried to use less of it because, honestly, you're not really need you don't really need to use that much of it. And I just love it. So I already repurchased another one. It's sitting in my bathroom right now. I'm probably going to break into it, like, tomorrow anyway. But, yeah, love this so freaking much. It's amazing. If you haven't tried it at Lush, go get it. You will not regret it. It's freaking amazing. And then the next thing is the um, Cynthia Sylvia Stout Shampoo. Do I have the ha Maybe I did use the Happy Happy Joy Joy um, conditioner in another video. Maybe I sh shared it with you in another video. So, yeah, I'm just, like, working on this current one that I have right now then. I'm just trying to get some stuff out of the way because I'm already running out of room. Because there's so much crap on this desk that you don't see, but whatever. Um, so yeah, the next thing is the Cynthia Sylvia Stout Shampoo, which I already said. This is the beer shampoo that I told you guys about when I started using it. Um, my sister first told me about this shampoo, said it's amazing, you should try it. Um, but she said it was more for like um, heavier hair. But I decided to try it myself, and I really love it. But I prefer this more in the... Um, in the winter time rather than the summertime. I just think it's too heavy for the summertime. That's why I've been using the Rehab Shampoo because that's a really light, refreshing, citrusy, kind of lemony scent. That's really nice to keep your hair like shiny and light in the summertime. And then in like the winter time, I like this because it like deep cleans my dry scalp and it really like makes your hair nice and full and, and fresh. So I really like this in the winter time. I guess I used this up in like March, so I guess it's been a while since I shared that with you. But yeah, I did use that up. I think I did have the conditioner in here because I did have it around the same time as that. So I don't know where it went, but I did use up a full one before, so you just have to believe me. Um, 
Then the next thing is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Basically, I always have one of these in these videos because I use this every single day to set my makeup. There's not a day that goes by that I don't use this. It's freaking amazing. I love it to death. Oh, and then one more thing from Lush is the Mask of Magna Minty. This is the face and body mask. Even though they're called face and body masks, I never use them on my body. I always use them on my face. Um, I didn't clean it out yet, but it just expired like a couple of days ago. But this is how much I've used of it. Even though I purchased these ones and um, say that I'm going to use them up, I only end up getting halfway through them. It's because I'm really bad about exfoliating my skin sometimes. Sometimes I only end up doing it once a week when you're supposed to do it twice a week. So it's probably why it takes me longer to get through them. But I did use it halfway up, so that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, anyway, sorry. I will clean this out and turn that in as well, but I think I'm just going to get a regular face mask this time because I really actually prefer those ones, but I prefer the cup of coffee mask over this one. This was still a good one. I liked how refreshing it made my skin feel and very like fresh and new, but I think I preferred the coffee mask instead. <clears throat> then the next thing, I was super excited to use this up. I mean, even though I was like sad that it was gone, I can't believe I used it up. This is the Kevin Aquan Celestial Liquid Lightning. You guys know how much I loved this. This is a liquid illuminator. It's more like a more natural make, um, liquid illuminator compared to like the um, Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector ones. Sorry, I just need to make a little bit room of room on my desk. Little room on my desk for the stuff that I have already shared with you. Um, but I really loved this. It added like a really nice natural glow to your skin. I've been obsessed with the Becca one recently. Sorry. But I really do like this a lot. I got this in February, I think, for the Vibe sale and I used it up like a month ago. So it only took me like five months to get through. But yeah, I used it basically Basically every single day. I'm like basically. <laughs> um, then the next thing is, like I said before, I already had this in the bag. The Josie Marin Argan Oil. That's the first bottle I used up. Don't really have to get into that because I already talked about it. Then the next thing, I did share this in the last video that I had, but I think I was like almost done with it. But this time I'm actually fully done with this. This is the Laura Mercier Secret Running Powder. You guys know how much I love this setting powder. But what's funny is that today I'm wearing a different setting powder under my eyes. You guys know I always use it. And today I didn't. I'm using something else, which is crazy. But I know my eyes look like kind of like a mask. But when you look up close, it's basically just my highlight. So it looks okay like that. It's just the concealer I use is very white. But yeah, anyway, my favorite um, under eye setting powder of all time. I use this every single day. I've cost I repurchased it. For the vibe sale, I believe. Wow, that was a while ago then. Was it the vibe sale? I can't remember. Oh yeah, this is this one I got in November for the vibe sale then. And this one I got in April. So yeah, that was not as long ago as I thought. But I always regret that the vibe sales in April and November. But um yeah, so I did use this up shortly after that after that vibe sale video. So yeah, it's been like a few months since I filmed a products I've used up video. But yeah, I love that. Um, then the next thing, I already talked about this too, but I used up the mini size of the Sephora mini solid brush cleaner. Um, that's why I went out and bought the full size because I loved this. Um, but also because when I got this, they didn't have the full size one in stock. So I had to buy the smaller version. But yeah, obviously use it up and I love it. Then the next thing is something I use up constantly in like every single product I've used up video. This is the um, Urban Decay. I almost forgot what the brand was. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. How many times do I use this up? I don't know, but I love this. This is my holy grail concealer. Nothing will ever come close to it. I just love this concealer. It's amazing. It just is so lightweight but so full coverage blends out beautifully sets beautifully it just looks amazing every time I use it 
And I try to use different concealers, and I'm always going back to this. This is just the best concealer of all time. Even trumps the new Tarte Concealer and the new Too Faced Born This Way. I think that this one is still by far the best one. It does not set into my fine, settle into fine lines. It does not, well, my under eyes are very creasy. For somebody who has dry skin, I just don't think I apply my concealer as well as I should. I don't really know what it is. But I'm, I think I'm going to start to try um, baking under my eyes. Not necessarily my whole face, but people say it really works. So I think I'm going to try it. I really thought it was just a gimmick. And I was like, this stuff is retarded. <laughs> I mean, this stuff is stupid, not retarded. Um, but I think I'm actually going to try it out. I'm, I'll see how I like it. But yeah, love it. And this is probably in every single video. I think I have purchased my sixth one of this already. So this is my most purchased makeup product ever. I just love it. Nothing compares to this. Um, then the next thing is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color Fair. I love this concealer as well. This concealer is amazing. It's a little bit lighter than the, um, actually they're both lightweight concealers. I can, I prefer lightweight everything if you guys already know that. Like, but this one is just a little bit more full coverage. But this is awesome coverage as well. This is the best drugstore concealer you can find. So this is the best high-end concealer and this is the best low-end concealer. Not low-end. Drugstore. Um, cheap concealer. Why would I say low-end? I'm sorry. Um, but it's phenomenal. I absolutely love this. I use this concealer so much. I use it for no makeup makeup looks all the time. So it's And I always carry it in my bag because like I've told you guys before... And I see this like a million times. If you're the type of girl that likes carrying a concealer with you, because honestly, the only things that I bring with when I leave the house, usually it's only a makeup product and that's what a makeup product. Usually it's only a lip product for me. That's what it used to only be. But now I bring my lip liner, a concealer, and an eyeliner. Um, but now I always bring a concealer with me and it's always this one because one, it's a lot cheaper and I don't have to worry about losing this because if I lost this, I have to go buy another $28 concealer whereas compared to this, I would just go out and buy a 2 or $3 concealer. But this is just as good as that one that I would just carry this around or wear it all the time anyway. But I wear this so much and I always use it to like correct um, any blemishes that I get from my... I mean, not blemishes, like stains that I get from like my lipstick if it ends up getting down here or if I end up wiping my lipstick off if I'm eating. So, yeah, this is amazing. I love it. Then the next thing, I always use this up, basically. So this is the MAC Extended Play Kick Black Lash. I have recently purchased my third tube of this. Best bottom lash mascara of all time. I freaking love it. These two makeup products I just cannot live without. These are absolutely amazing. I love them. Then another Holy Grail product that I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for them to restock in Sephora. But I did tell you guys that they were repackaging them. These are the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in the shade N10. This is my third one of this that I've used up. So this is my other... So out of these products... These four products that I'm sharing with you, besides the Urban Decay Setting Spray, are like my five most purchased beauty products. Concealer, bottom lash mascara, cover drops, um, a highlighter stick, and a setting spray. So, um, but yeah, I freaking love this. I haven't been able to use it, though, for a little bit because I've been waiting for them to restock it at Sephora. That's the only reason why I haven't been able to go get another one. Um, but they were changing the packaging because I told you guys, like, I noticed this way before they decided to finally correct the problem. The dropper constantly gets clogged only after a few weeks of using it. And this is like probably the most important product where the dropper or the packaging needs to work the way it's supposed to because this is pure pigment. And you don't want to be like using more than like a drop or two for something that is going to add extreme coverage to your foundation. Like, you want it to work. So, I'm so excited that they finally decided to fix the problem. I'm sure enough people complain because this is one of the most popular makeup products out there. And it's amazing. If you don't have this, try it because it's the phenomenal. 
It's phenomenal. And then the last, not the last thing, but the last like most popular item that I use all the time is the MAC Prep and Primate Radiant Rose. I This is probably my third one that I've went through, and yeah, nothing coming out. I've already repurchased another one, and I'm using it, so I absolutely love this. I love the pink hue that it adds to my makeup. It's just amazing, and it really highlights your under eyes, so phenomenal. MAC products, like, honestly, they make some holy grail products of mine because they are amazing. Um, then the next thing is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I didn't use this up, it just expired. I went through a phase where I was just using the Urban Decay for like the longest time, and this is definitely so old, so I did go out and purchase a new one a couple of months ago. But this one is probably a year and a half old, and I was like, yeah, I need to get rid of it. But this is my other favorite concealer. So these are my three favorite concealers, if you didn't know. This concealer is phenomenal. I love it. It's just a little bit thicker than the Urban Decay. That's why I don't use it all the time. But I still use it as much as I can. It's amazing. Um, then the next thing is... I think that's it for like products I've used up fully. The rest of them are all like expired mascaras and lip products. So I'm going to go through the mascaras first. I have quite a few of them. I thought I had the Smashbox one in here as well, but I'll probably just find it after the video. But yeah, I have a lot of mascaras in here. The first one is the Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara. You guys know I freaking love this mascara. It makes your lashes so long and basically false looking. I use this all the time when I'm going out because it's amazing. And I already purchased another one that's my favorite drugstore mascara ever. It's just the best. The next mascara is the YSL Baby Doll Mascara. This one I wasn't a huge fan of. Um, it did dry out though. I mean, I got it in April, so I'm basically going to get rid of it because, you know, mascaras only last about three months and then you're supposed to get rid of them. I didn't really like it. Actually, I think I got this in November, so I should have gotten rid of it a while. I don't remember if it was the November vibe sale. November vibe sale. November, not November. The November Vibe Sale or the um, April one, I'm pretty sure it was in November. Was it? No, actually I think it was the April. I don't remember. But anyway, well, I don't know why I feel like I got this like in February or something. Um, But it just like wasn't the best mascara. I think that the Dior Show and the Giorgio Armani are a lot better than this one. This one gets very hyped up though. And I think those other two mascaras are a lot better than this one. If you want to spend the money, buy those two. I don't really like this one as much. And what's funny is that Young Well and Polish loves this one. I don't really like this one as much as those other two. Then the next one is the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. I need to go out and repurchase this because this is my other favorite drugstore mascara ever. It's amazing. I love it for natural makeup days. And it really separates and lengthens your lashes. This is amazing. I love it. And then the last, um, and then I have a couple of eye eyelash primers. The first one is the Stila Lash Stunner Primer. This was my go-to primer before I found this other one that I'm going to talk about. But I um, used to use this like a while back. And then I repurchased it and I just didn't like it as much when I repurchased it again. I kind of like that, which is weird. Um, so I basically stopped using it, and then it just expired. I know that's kind of a waste of money, but that happens with very few makeup products for me because I always try to use as many makeup products as I can. Sorry, that was bugging the crap out of me. Um, but yeah, I like I liked this, but this one I like even more, and I have two of them. The first one is the mini, mini size of the Lancome Seals XL Booster Primer, and then I also have the full size of the Lancome Seals XL Booster Primer. I know they both look gross, but when they start growing like the the rim on the outside, it's time to get rid of them. But I love this primer and I've already went out and purchased a new one. This is amazing. I use it so much. It's another eyelash primer. And the last mascara in here is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I love this mascara as well. I need to go 
and purchase the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara and this one in the full size because I love both of these mascaras. And I'm kind of in a mascara rut. I only have the Benefit, the It Cosmetics, the L'Oreal, and the, um, uh, I think that's it, and the Maybelline. So that's what I've been using recently. But yeah, I love this as well. And then we're, there's just products that I'm getting rid of that are old, and they are all lip products. The first one is Anastasia Beverly Hills Pure Hollywood Lip Liquid Lipstick. I recently pulled this out and smelled it, and I was like, yeah, this is time to get rid of this because it doesn't smell good anymore. I did get my use out of this, but honestly, like I've said before, these are the worst liquid lipstick formula I've ever tried. But I did love this color. This color was beautiful. But the original formula was crap, so this was the only one I ever purchased. And then I saw Stephanie Nicole's video, and I was like, yeah, I'm never purchasing them again. But then I purchased the new ones, and the new ones are really, really good. Um, they're really nice, and they're not as drying as the one I'm wearing. Then the next two lipsticks I'm getting rid of are these two ColourPop lippy sticks. I'm trying to, like, not keep lipsticks more than, like, a year unless they're ones that I really wear, like, all the time. And these I just haven't worn these summer, this summer at all, so I'm like, I think it's time for me to get rid of them. And I'm actually going to be getting rid of this whole collection because I haven't really worn these either as well. So these, this is more of like a decluttering right now, but I, I am going to have a full decluttering video coming up. Um, but I just have not touched these, and I know these are probably bad. They're really pretty. Like, I really loved this um, blush, but I thought that this other blush was a little bit too orange, and this highlighter was just too subtle for me. Um, but I think I'm just going to get rid of this whole collection just because I feel like it's just dried out now. But the two lippy sticks are Frenemy and Freshman. And Frenemy is more of like an orangey color. This was nice, but I, I don't know. I just haven't worn it. And I have a bunch of orange lipsticks now that I've been wearing more often. And then the other one is called Freshman, which is like this really pretty magenta color. And I did wear this one more, but this one was much harder to apply. And I don't know, just, I mean, I liked them. It's not, I'm not saying I didn't like them, but it's just, I just feel like it's time to get rid of them because I just haven't worn them. So the only one I'm keeping is Sweet Thing, but I still haven't worn that this summer either. I just have too many lipsticks. And then the last two lipsticks in here are the Melted Too Faced lipsticks. I thought I had three in here. I thought I was getting rid of Peony as well. But whatever. These are the two that I'm going to be getting rid of because Melted Nude is starting to smell bad. And Melted Marshmallow is probably going to start smelling bad as well. That one smells decent, but honestly, I've had these over a year already. But yeah, Melted Nude does not smell good anymore, but I kind of really want to repurchase Melted Nude because it's one of my favorite nudes ever, and I really love this formula, but I have so many lipsticks that I haven't repurchased it yet, And but this formula is bomb, so I'm going to be getting rid of them, though, because I feel like they're too old. And then the last two are two ColourPop shadows that I'm getting rid of. Um, I absolutely love the ColourPop formula. Why don't I have these other things in? Oh, here we go. I'm like, where is the other shadow that I'm getting rid of? Okay. Yeah, the rest are going to be saved for a products I've used up video. I mean, products I'm decluttering. But I am going to be also getting rid of three ColourPop shadows as well because you're only supposed to be keeping them for a year and it's been over a year already. The first one is Smash. I really love this for the crease. It's such a beautiful color. But I'm going to be getting rid of that one. And the next one is called Eye Candy, which I think I was pretty much almost close. Actually, I did hit pan a little bit on it in the center. But I feel like this one is pretty dried out, and every time I've went to use it, it just looks doesn't look the same as it should. So I'm going to be getting rid of that one. And then the last one is called Dare, which is one of my favorite purples of all time, if not my favorite one of all time. And I just recently hauled this, so I'm going to be getting rid of that as well. And then the last thing is just my 
beauty blender it was about time that I got rid of this and I recently repurchased a new one and you're supposed to purchase one every few months and I finally did get a new one a couple of months ago so yeah that is it so please like and subscribe follow me on Instagram at cbw819 and my snapchat is pokerface819 and my twitter is pokerface819 and thanks guys bye